Hey everybody, Grim here, and it has been quite some time since the last episode, and I apologize for that. I've been quite busy getting stuff ready for this episode, which it turns out I'm not going to get everything done for this episode that I wanted to have done for this episode. I apologize for that as well. Uh, right now, in your upper right hand corner, over the map, there should be a little pop-up video showing some of the stuff that I've been working on throughout the week. Now, <laughs> walking differently. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Obviously, you see the hoppers, the chests, and stuff. I did a lot of electrolyzing. Go, the, go this way, dumbass. I did a lot of electrolyzing uh, to get stuff, to get other stuff, to make stuff, to do other stuff. Yeah. Also, right now, if you hear any noise in the background, that would be my air conditioner running. It's getting quite warm. Um, so that's a good thing, I guess. But uh, if the air conditioner is bothering you, bothering you, let me know. I'll kill it in uh, future episodes. However, not this episode. First of all, there's a few things to go over. Right now, I was in the process. First of all, I don't think I showed you. I got everything completed. I'll show you this in a minute. And ready for the nuclear reactor. Dun, 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 dun. Bam, there's the stuff. I've already got four quad uranium cells in it right now. And I went into creative and was messing around with this design of nuclear reactor and it's pretty stable. The hull heat stays at zero. Hull heat is never ever a problem. So, the downfall of that is it only puts out like 380 EU per tick. Or was it 420 or something? I don't know. Somewhere around that amount. Anyway, it's drastically less than what I was thinking it would be. Or what I had seen other people do. Apparently, between the time they made their video and the time I'm doing this now, uh, the amount of output for that setup has been nerfed. However, it still works decently fine for a matter fabricator. ba -da! This is the stuff I've been working on throughout the week. Over a week. And I got hung up right here. This item and this item. Those are iridium plates. And I got hung up with those because I can't make iridium plates because I don't have a uh, implosion compressor and that's what it takes to make them. So, also, back in my chest, chesticles. Uh, tungsten. In order to smelt tungsten, I had to upgrade my industrial blast furnace quite a bit. That was costly. <laughs> but I was able to make the tungsten then. Ta-da! New heat capacity is 2600K. Um, and then I was able to make the housing for the implosion compressor. The implosion compressor actually goes right up here. It takes 32 EU in per tick. So there's a low voltage thingy back there. Uh, so we're going to make this. We're going to put it in. We're going to make one iridium plate. Because I don't have enough iridium to make... Oh wait, actually I think I might. Da -da. If I remember correctly, when you do regular mining, when you mine iridium ore, uh, one of these should give you one ingot. If that is... Why is cobblestone coming here? I set cobblestone to go to the recycler. <gasps> oh no! Shit, it's backwards. Alright, we gotta go fix that crisis. Immediately. It takes precedence over everything else. Although that's weird. You know what, maybe I only set one of the tesseracts. I just set it up before I started recording. I brought it back to the overworld. But if I remember correctly, perhaps uh, one regular iridium in here creates one bar. Yes, okay. So that's fine. That'll give me enough to make a second plate. Uh, and I have enough invar and stuff left to do uh, the mixed alloy stuff. But I brought it back to the overworld. Uh, that hollow hill, it was only the hollow spot was where all the goodies were. And there wasn't a whole lot of goodies to begin with. Uh, after that, it was just like regular terrain beneath it. So I said, hey, why should I keep going to the different area? You know? Okay, green should be recycle. The diamond pipe is not working. 
dirt, cobble, gravel, sand, should go to green. Green is that way. This is ore. What the hell? Stop. There's nothing good in the top couple layers anyway. I also need, I ran out of ferrous ore. Crap, I don't have any sand on me. Stop running! Thank you. I don't have any ferrous or sand on me. <gasps> I think I just lost that tesseract. Crap, 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 crap. Tesseract? I need you. Get to the wall, stupid. Hey, didn't work. There we go. Um. Regular dirt. Why is there regular dirt down here? Crap. Guys, I think I just lost a tesseract. Okay, well, I'll leave the quarry shut down until I make a new one. Damn it. As I was saying, I need ferrous ore. I ran out of ferrous ore. And that is what I use to get, uh, platinum? Which is what I use to get iridium? Yeah, that damn thing's gone. And I apologize right now, I know you can't, probably can't see a damn thing underwater, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll deal with that later. Anyway, um, I'm out of ferrous ore. I need ferrous ore. And with the hollow hill in the twilight, I was getting absolutely no... F well, I got less than a full stack of ferrous ore. And I did three 50 by 50 areas. So that is not too good for me. Uh, first of all, the power from this outlet, I rerouted down here. I'll get right up on it. Uh, it's right here now. And that is going to be for something having to do with the nuclear controls. First of all though, right here, industrial information panel. You know what, back to what we were first doing. The implosion compressor. I know, I just covered like six different topics all at the same time, right? On top of this problem, I ran into another problem. I needed gunpowder to make enough TNT to then go over and make some uh, industrial TNT upper right corner. So that required me to kill some creepers. While I was doing that I used a soul shard and I got it up past a level one and I'm gonna throw that in a soul cage to make it a spawner and then I will go ahead and use uh, I'll go ahead and use that to allow me to use my other soul shard I still have and get that all the way up to uh, like a level 5 and then hook that up for, X, for XP farm. Wouldn't that be just creeptastic? Um, I did make some industrial TNT so that's where that's at. Okay let's go back over here get these and right now I need not you, I need three bronze. I need three Envar. Found out if you use Envar instead of reinforced iron when you're making the mixed alloy thingy. <laughs> um, okay, so there's an iridium alloy ingot. But when you used Envar in, instead of reinforced iron Reinforced iron gives you like one. If you use Envar, you get four. Wrong thing. And I need four for this. So that is what I need. I also need a diamond dust. I brought most of my diamonds up here because I ran out of diamonds up here actually. 
And let's go ahead and kill that power. Because that should be done now. Bam. Okay, those are done. Let's throw them over here. And what the heck was I just... Oh yeah, diamond. Okay. So... There we go. And we come right back over... You know what? Why did I shut that off? I'm using it again anyway. Damn it. And this will give us... Hopefully... Everything we need to make the matter fabricator. And then from that, I will use that to generate EU... Or... EU. Generate... Uh... UU matter. I will use that then to make more iridium to be able to make other stuff uh, specifically to be able to make um, um, advanced solar panels and some higher end solar panels uh, because There we go. Two iridium plates. Uh, and that will then power co provide constant power to the matter fabricator as well. Now right here, industrial information panel. Once we got the nuke going, this will keep track of the nuke. It will give us all kinds of information. Was in the way wrong spot there, dumbass. And these are panel extenders. And if you use a wrench and click the side, it will face it the way you want it to go. If you click it again, it destroys it and pops it off for you. And then if you just put a lever in the back and turn it on, uh, that powers it. Here's my power coming in here. So now that that's out of my inventory and I showed you that, let's go down here. Where am I going? I lost track of what I'm doing. <laughs> um, first off, Let's take a peek in here. We'll get this set up. And range finders. And that's it for now. Okay. This is a remote sensor kit. To make this, it is a digital thermometer, a piece of paper, a frequency transmitter. To make the digital thermometer, it's three refined, oh, refined iron, okay. A glowstone and an electronic circuit. Um, I actually had to go in search of glowstone when I went to make these because I ran out of glowstone. So we're going to go right down to the nuke. Bum, 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 which I have to redo part of it anyway. I ran the wire for it and set up the area where I'm going to put the matter fabricator. It's going to be right here. I also ran a wire up to feed into my main power, power area, which I'm going to disable that. But back here, I made all these MFEs and wired them up and it's not going to be emitting enough power for me to even worry about these. So I'll connect the three here, bring them out, bring them around this, and then travel it up just the main power source. And with fiber cable, uh, you used, you lose two EU for every 40 blocks traveled. So at most with this, I will probably end up losing uh, four EU, maybe six. I'm not worried about it. It's not a lot in the grand scheme of things. Now you take that remote sensor and you right click on your reactor and it turns it into a reactor sensor location card uh, we're gonna need that but as I showed you I already have the uranium cells here I have 360k helium coolant cells in here I don't know if that's gonna do anything or not uh, signs point to no but we will find out fly okay we're gonna go back up I redid some of my storage here. I don't know if I showed you. I put three barrels for a lot of things, two barrels for some things. I don't think I showed you this, actually. Um, yeah, I redid my storage. Uh, that should not be there. Uh, I put the wood from the trees in here from the twilight, and I got two barrels full of sticks. I redid some stuff over here. gave multiple barrels for some things. Uh, Ten has two barrels. Iron has two barrels, and I got 48 stacks in there, plus I used up like 12 stacks. Uh, I refined a lot of stuff down here, so that's also a lot of what I've been doing. Uh, we're going to go back up here to our information panel. 
and we're going to put the card in there. And it's out of range. So we're going to put some range finder upgrades in here. First, I'm going to cut the stack in half. There's 20 of them. That is enough. Cut it in half again. There's 10. That is enough. Five? Wow. Two? Okay, so three range finders, range upgrades, is enough. And it shows you everything you can choose. On off status, heat level, maximum heat, melting temperature, output, EU per tick, and time to cycle. That will show all this. So then when we, I'll have a lever here probably, or here. When we flip a lever and turn the reactor on to generate power, it'll tell us the whole temperature, uh, the maximum heat amount it can withstand, 10,000, the melting point, uh, when it will melt water in the area, uh, the output of EU per tick, and the time remaining on the uranium cells. Now also back in here, I'm probably not going to do it at this time, I'll set it up at another time because I have to make another set of wireless stuff. Uh, remote thermal monitor. And if you notice I got another remote sensor kit for that. And these range upgrades will be used for that as well. A range upgrade, I went through a lot of rubber by the way, is used with two copper cables, a frequency transmitter. Frequency transmitter is an electronic circuit and copper cable. Okay, I had to make a lot of that, so I went through a lot of that stuff. Um, I'm going to jump over to where I made the area for the creeper spawner, and I'll see you there. Okay, here we are. And I'm just going to drop in the top, put it down. Ba -da -dum, ba -da -da -da. Wrong block placement there, dumbass. Let's see if we can do that again, shall we? Okay. Center post, gonna be gone. Soul cage. That's just made with iron bars, by the way. Soul shard, tier one. Right click, boom, there we have it. This is now a creeper spawner, level one, which means it's going to take forever to spawn anything. I'm gonna leave it open for now. Uh, the higher tiers, I believe you, j you trigger them with redstone signal. As you saw, I had water running in there. It'll bring them all over to right here, and I'll just stand here. Pow, 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 you're dead. Uh, if they blow up, obsidian. Yeah, baby. Alright. Back to the place of enlightenment. Uh, now that I got that out of my inventory, uh, we will get on to some of the matter fabricator stuff now that I am actually should be able to fully make it. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Let's get over here. And I believe I showed you the footage up here uh, with me putting the creeper heads on the wall. Uh, my sword I was using to kill creepers had Vorpal on it, and I got a lot of creeper heads from it, as well as other stuff. Um, so, that's what all the heads on the wall downstairs are for. And I just figured, you know, hey, what am I going to do with all these? I got no use for them. So, we will mount them as trophies. I could mount them outside on sticks as warnings to other creepers, but somehow I don't think they will get the message. Okay, there's that. And then this, I'm going to need that with this. You know what? Watch, I'm not going to remember how the hell this went. Those went there. Diamonds here. These here, these here, frequency thingy. These are teleporters, by the way. Uh, with these, aside from this use, uh, you can supp supply power to them. And when you're standing on them, if you give a, red a redstone charge to it uh, and supply it with power, uh, you can teleport yourself to another pad. Uh, there's some linking up required. And however much you have stuff you have in your inventory, including your armor you're wearing, uh, all determines how much energy it costs to transport you that distance. So bear that in mind. The more, if you got a full inventory, you know it's going to cost a lot more power uh, from your MFE or MFSU to transport you that distance. Ta -da. Um, and there's the center. We've got these four thingies and these. 
And these, and that should be... Why did I do that there and not up here? Damn Greg. I haven't blamed him for anything in a while. You know what? It's entirely his fault. There we go. Matter fabricator. Done! Ha ha ha! Sucker. Okay. I'm going to hook this up right now. Lots of heads. Uh, just to get it out of my inventory. Actually, I think we're coming up on uh, the end. Ta -da, ta -da. Boom. Matter fabricationator. Why does it have power? No! It's drawing power from upstairs. Okay. I, I, trans I transferred all my scrap down here. I will pump it right over and in. And then it will pump out the side into a chest. Ba -da, ba -da, da -da. Okay, over to this chest. I'm going to at least set this up. Am I, how much do I have of what? I'll come back for the rest. We'll set all this stuff up first, and then we'll come back for the rest. Yeah! Whoa! That could have ended bad. <laughs> Had I not realized I was not in hover mode. Okay. The component heat vents. These are the ones... Intermittent. There, uh, there, 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 and there. Component heat vent is what actually gets rid of the heat, I think. Not entirely sure. I'm operating under that assumption, and it has served me well so far. <laughs> Everything else in here is meant to direct the heat to these so these can actually dissipate the heat and be done with them. All the other spots are the other thingies. Yes, they are thingies. Thingy-mabobbers. Thingy-mabobbers. <gasps> Ooh. This ain't good. I don't have holes drilled out for the scaffolding. I'll see you back topside. Okay guys, I got that taken care of. I went ahead and grabbed the rest of my stuff. I think we're going to go ahead and get this running today. Can I get all these in my inventory? Absolutely not. So... Okay. And drop. Ha ha! Got that taken care of. Sucker. Damn Greg. Trying to kill me. What's wrong with him? Okay. We're gonna come in here and since the only space is left is what takes the overclocked heat vent, we're just gonna shift click. Ba -ba. Now for heat dissipation, you're gonna wanna have overclocked heat vents directly next to the uranium cells. This will pull the heat directly from them. It will shift the heat to the component heat exchanger from here to here, from here to here, and to here. And then this will shift it to overclocked heat vents adjacent to the component heat vents. The component heat vents will dissipate the heat entirely. The 360K helium coolant cell, I don't think is actually doing anything really. <laughs> um, I put it there just as like safety, I guess. I guess, like I don't even know. <laughs> Um, I put it there as, as safety. Okay. Okay, children. S smoking's bad. Okay. So, yeah. And first off, we're going to hit this with this. Bam! Okay. That is taken care of. The wireless receiver. We're going to put it back around here. And we're going to put it right here. Hey. Shift click it. We're just going to set it to 10. Okay. That's set to 10. It's the only wireless stuff I think I... Actually, I think I used wireless for something else. I think that was in my creative world, though. Crap!
What did it? Hey, 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 hey. Crap. Damn it. Damn guy. Just can't have nice things. You know? Someday I'll get up here. And we're going to go back into this room. I think it's been about a half hour now. Uh, we're going to go back into this room. See, nothing there. But um, but I don't know. And actually, I think I'm going to go right here. Do redstone here. And then wire. I need wiring. Do I have a lever on me? No, I need a lever. And this is going to be kind of like a safety. Okay, children. First of all, lever. Lever me. We're going to turn it on. And it's going to create a signal. Cool. And that. And wireless. I'm not going to set that one yet. I need, I need, I need, I need stuff. I need the stuff. Cable, cable, cable. Need cable. I need a redstone torch. Bum, ba -da -da -ba -da. Redstone torch. I inverted the signal. I'm inverting the signal on purpose. And I'll show you why in a minute. Okay, that works. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted to do. Dumbass. Where is it? Signal is off. Actually, I wanted to be that to be on there like that. There we go. So when I hit that, it inverts it. Kill the signal. Cool. Now we're going to set this to 10. Cool, that's set to 10. There's no signal going to it. When I turn that switch the other way, it will drop this signal, turning this torch back on, sending the signal to the wireless, sending it to the receiver, sending it to the nuclear reactor, turning it on. Let me check the screen out here, make sure it's not on already. Yes, turning it on. Watch. On. Uh, 320 EU per tick. Okay. So that works perfectly. So what we're going to do now... The reason I did that is because this remote thermal monitor, you can link it directly to the thingy. Okay. Actually, I think I'll just do it right here. I'm going to stand back here and do this. I don't really feel safe doing this. This is a remote thermal monitor. This consumes power at all times. It is now linked to our reactor. I can set the temperature at which I want this to send out a redstone signal. It's off right now. In which case, the redstone signal is going to come right here. No! There we go. The redstone signal will come to right here, tripping the switch. So if I turn this on, if the temperature of the nuke reaches whatever limit I set on here. For example, melting is 8,000. So we will set this at 7,000. If the temperature of the reactor reaches 7,000, it will trigger this. This will watch the temperature. This gauge will go up as the temperature increases. If it reaches 7,000, this will emit a redstone pulse to this. Coming down here, tripping this, shutting the reactor off. So it's an automatic kill switch. 
This has to consume power. This takes 32 EU per tick and it's constantly using it at like 1 or 2 EU per tick every tick. You cannot stop it. If it does not have power, well you know what? Just to be on the safe side since I have so many, range upgrade to make sure it can actually reach the nuke. Uh, that would be bad if it didn't reach, right? So there we go. My lever is now tied to this. Well, not tied to it, but my lever will tri will trip the nuke, turn it on. This will trip the nuke and turn it on or off. So that is completely, I guess you could say, fail safe almost. So if I flip this on, baby, we are generating power and off. I don't. The power is not going where I want it to go right now. Um, you know what? This is gonna be a long episode today. <laughs> I, I really want to show you this. You know, this is. A, a long time of work coming together in final moments so it's you know good good time to be watching good time to be making video right now all that power is going into these or not you know maybe not yeah going into the don't want it to go into these you know what screw you guy And actually, I made I went through a lot of diamonds, and I made a lot of. I, as you can tell, I made a lot of this cable. Obviously, we're gonna tie these together. Bing, bang, boom. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna come out this way. Well, actually, we're gonna leave that link there. So if any does any that's already in there, will automatically. Uh, Come right on up to where we're going. There we go. We are now tied in. All power this generates will go to the matter fabricator. That's just power coming out of those. Actually, yeah, the matter fabricator's in. Is this 142? Oh, it outputs 512 per tick. Now, this it j gains power at a slow rate when it's only 320 per tick. However, it's at a fast enough rate if I leave the game running when I'm not around. It generates it not bad. I'd say about... Oh, what do I want to say? 10 minutes in my creative world and it was at like 39% of 1 UU matter. So right now, actually, and I don't even know if a transposer... I'll set this up for now... I'll put those in there. And you know what? I might create another information panel down here so I can watch this and make sure nothing's overheating. By the way, in the nuke, the uranium is the only things that can actually fully deplete. Everything else in there, uh, once you fire it up, it will start showing uh, um, durability damage. Do not let them get all the way down and deplete. If you shut it off before they actually deplete on everything else, uh, they will heal themselves over time. Do I make myself clear? They will heal themselves back up to perfectly fine, perfectly normal over time, whereas the uranium will not. The uranium cells will fully deplete. I got back upset right there anyway. But everything else will heal itself. You just have to catch it in time and turn it off. Uh, they do. Ha it seems to be a pretty slow process. Um, two percent. See if I, if I you, you turn this on, you know you go do laundry, do dishes, make yourself a sandwich, whatever you know. Watch a couple TV shows, watch a movie or something. Um, it'll it'll be okay. It's gonna need some time because it's a slow process. But once I get some UU matter to start out, um, I can create some iridium, make some advanced solar panels. Uh, run a wire, uh, 3%, there we go. Run a wire straight up uh, to feed even more power into them. I've also thought about, because it doesn't cost a lot of resources to make the actual nuke itself, I might make a second nuke over there, a secondary nuke. Run two nukes at the same time, just to power that uh, for the constant energy supply. I might even set up three nukes. 
Uh, however, making everything else, the remote sensors, the information panel, everything else, that's a bit time consuming, but not really expensive. Um, so, you know, it's not, it's not that bad. So there we go. Well, that's interesting. That's a visual glitch. Why is that glitch? You know what? This is on, right? Oh, it inverted the entire torch. Okay. Give me a, I need a sign. Sign, sign, everywhere sign. Give me a sign. You know what? I need two signs. Nuclear. <laughs> Nuclear. On. One more sign. Give me another sign. Duh! On switch. Okay. I could just pay attention to that, but whatever. So there we go. And then I will come back here. And I will block this off. Bing, bang, boom. And we're done. We now have a, an operational nuclear reactor, an implosion compressor. We made our first iridium plates. Uh, we made a matter fabricator. What else did we do? We made the information panel, and I showed you generally how to use it, and what you need to monitor your nuclear reactor. Um, and then I'll fix my quarry on my own. Not right now, but probably tomorrow or something. Uh, this episode is way overdue. I've been meaning to record, and I haven't been happy with the points that I'm at to start recording. So, there you have it. What else? Is there, I'm missing something, aren't I? I do believe I'm missing something. I don't know. But, you know, I ended up... You know what, did I turn that power off? Yes? Okay. I made... what did I make? I made a lot... I turned a bunch of my bauxite into dust and was centrifuging that, or electrolyzing that to get something and I had to electrolyze or macerate rubies to get ruby dust to uh, electrolyze those to get something else. I, yeah, I, I, I showed a lot of footage in the upper right hand corner. Um, just general going around killing creepers. Uh, all that footage there. Doing some of that just little clips here and there throughout the week. I thought, eh, they might want to see some of this, you know. So, there you are. That's the episode. It's a nice long episode today, although you'll probably not see this till like, Friday. Today is, today is Wednesday. I will... I, given the time of day it is right now, I won't be able to render the episode and start an upload before I go to bed. Uh, the rendering won't even be done before I go to bed. Uh, cause I gotta get up at 4 a.m. for work, so I will have to do it. You know, I might, I might render it overnight, upload it when I go to work. Although it'll be all day uploading, but it's a long episode. You'll probably see it Friday or Saturday. I'm not guaranteeing which day. Friday or Saturday, you will see me right here in this room talking to you right now. You like how that's done? <laughs> okay, so that's the episode. If you enjoyed the episode, a like is appreciated. It really helps me out. Uh, if you're not subbed already, sub. You're an awesome person if you do. Okay? Kudos. Otherwise, I will see you in the next episode. Take care, guys.